Bro, there's a lot going on in 2024, man. And I hate for it to start off like this. Um, but I got to speak on something real quick, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can watch to the end of this video and, you know what I'm saying, see, see what's really going on. So, this is more of a message from a fan to up church, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, you were one of the first people I really reacted to on here on YouTube. I heard some people got a problem. Well, let me get the match. Then I think you need to like to see you sitting in a whoop. Then I'm free. You know what I'm saying? Reacting to your music or whatever, even buying your music. You know what I mean? That's kind of the highest peak of what you can do, you know what I'm saying, as a person that's a fan of an art form. But it's like, as of lately, bro, you've been, you've been kind of going left with uh, your comments on Instagram and like your, I don't know what you got going on personal, so we're not going to get into all that. But for me, it's like, bro, I'm on your Instagram, you know what I'm saying? And you you call out Tom McDonald. Hey, Tom McDonald, you better get your notepad ready, son, because I'm coming for you. Nobody thinking like this, so why you sit on the fence? My language arts gun racked, holding infinite clips. Then after I conquer your ass, I'm conquering everybody else that thinks they can't be. And you say whatever you got to say, and it's like, in your comment section, I'm going through the comment section because I'm like, damn. Like, what's this all about? Like, where did this come from? I thought y'all was cool. You know what I mean? I thought y'all was boys. A lot, a lot of your friends are common friends. Like, could you not, like, hit them up and call, like, hit them up on the phone? And, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, but I'm going through the comment section, and you over here calling, you over here saying the word nigga a lot. <laughs> And you're not talking to I don't I don't get it, bro. Like what's what's good with that, bro? Like I we all got past as far as the, your black fans of your music, you know what I mean? You said the Confederate flag shit was your heritage. You said, yo, that's not me. That's not who I am. That's not what I stand on. It's just my family. And that's just how we were brought up. Um, you say, you know what I'm saying, you love all people and you you know, one, two, and three, you feel me? And you're not racist and you're not even like that. You know what I mean? And based on what you telling me, I'm like, all right, bet we grown now. People have people have the right to support whatever flag they want to support. And I took your word as a man, you know what I'm saying? Like that you not like that. You know what I mean? And here we are today, fast forward a few years. Bro, you over here calling people niggas and saying nigga please and all this nigga stuff. And it's like, bro, you better than that. You know what I mean? And I ain't, I was contemplating making this video, to be honest with you, because I'm like, I don't, want, I don't like getting into people's stuff, personal, you know what I'm saying? Because it can people can take something you say, take it out of context, and flip it a certain way, and at the end of the day, make you look kind of crazy. So I try to trade carefully of, of how I talk and how, of what I put on my platform, but it's like, bro, up church, starting today, bro, I can no longer... Rock with your music, bro. I can no longer support your movement. I can no longer rock with it, man. Because I feel like you are continuous, you're continuously disrespecting your black fan base or even just people. You know what I'm saying? By using your terms that you using, you know what I'm saying? Like the niggas terms you using on your platforms. And it's completely disrespectful. And a lot of your your own fans are telling you you got you out of pocket when you're saying that. You completely ignore them and you keep posting the shit. So me as a reactor, this is my first time doing something like this. Hopefully, um, Creek Squad, you can like, I don't know. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all for real, for real. A lot of y'all put me on a lot of good music. I appreciate y'all for that. Um, but I feel like Church is just like, he's going in a different direction. And where I draw the line, I don't like, I don't like disrespecting people's cultures and I don't like disrespecting people's races. Like I don't do that. I don't rock with that. So because of that, bro, I'm going to have to fall back, bro. I'm going to have to fall back. You, I will no longer be reacting to up church on this channel. And that's where I stand on that. You know what I mean? I think as a country, bro, we got enough stuff dividing us up as it is. Um, our country is going through turmoil right now and we don't need people with huge platforms talking and speaking reckless and talking crazy, you know what I mean? And using these kind of terms when describing different scenarios, bro. If that's how you really feel feel about black people, or if that's how you really feel about people, you think it's okay for you to use that term, that's your right. 
I respect your right, but you respect mine. I'm just gonna have to fall back, man. I know I'm a small channel. It might not mean shit to you or might, might not mean shit to your fans, but that's just what I'm standing on right now. I tried reaching out to you on the on the DM. I got no response. I tried reaching out to you in the comment section. I got no response. So that's the only reason I'm making this video right now, man. Hopefully you see it. Always know it's all love. And uh, we're going to keep it like that. Shout out to Cree Squad, man. But, uh, you know, I'm no longer doing no more of church reactions, man. And um, if, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But until next time, y'all be safe out there, man. Peace.